The first thing I did in preparation for today was get in touch with Jason Gillespie and Arnie Faith Thomas, who, for those of you who don't know, are the only other two people to play uh, Test cricket for Australia. Uh, it's a huge honour in itself to, to be playing Test cricket, so to be just the third Indigenous Australian is a, a huge honour and, and speaks volumes for your cricketing ability, your work ethic and the love and respect and support that everyone around you must have. Uh, Jason Gillespie said uh, he remembers presenting your cap at the MCG and he's followed your career really closely uh, and he's thrilled to see you make this progression into Test cricket. Arnie Faith uh, said I gave her a call, she's in a nursing home now, she's 86, she's in Port Augusta. Gave her a call and she said, can you get Cricket Australia to send me a car, I want to come and watch. <laughs> I said, I'm not sure the car's going to get there in time, Arnie Faith, but, uh, and she wishes you all the best as well. Uh, I've got two pieces of advice. My school motto was, quae seminaris mites, which means, what you sow, so shall you reap. Now, the harder you work, the more chance you are of having those rewards. And secondly, just enjoy it. It's a game of cricket. We all know how much we love the game, and we all know how much you love celebrating success, and always remember that all the way through your career, because at the end of that, when you finish, the things that you remember are going to be the celebrations and, and those successes. So, Ash, on behalf of myself, Arnie Faith, Dizzy, our people and the rest of Australia, congratulations on being the third Indigenous person and the 174th <laughs> Test Cricketer for Australia. Congratulations. Go well. My honour today is to present um, Soph with your hat, uh, with your cap, it's not just a hat, it's a cap. Um, and in doing so, as I was thinking about what it was that was important about today, I wanted you to think about the time that you played your first game of cricket, um, thinking back to that moment where you bowled the first ball, hit the first ball and how fun that is, and then thinking about all the people that have helped you reach um, this part of your journey. And I know one person will be sitting down the southern part of Victoria in John Harmer who will have a tear in his eye tonight um, because he's always believed in you. Um, and the last piece of, uh, of advice is um, uh, we all know that you're good enough, um, you've done all the work and you're good enough will be best for this team. So well done. Well done. Uh, congratulations to you two. Fantastic to see you both with the baggy green. Uh, there's been 631 Australians play Test cricket for Australia before today. So congratulations to you three today. Um, you've had a few knocks in your, your short career, but I think that'll make this receiving this cap a whole lot sweeter. Um, I think the baggy green, to me, represents this. It's your cricket family. Um, they'll always be uh, there, and you'll always have this cap, no matter how this week goes or how your career goes. I think it's for all the Australians back home who wish they'd got one and for all the kids that you girls uh, are making dreams for, for the young kids to come through and, and be, I guess, the, the southern stars of the future. Um, only advice from me is enjoy this week, it'll go so quickly. It's test cricket, but these four days will go so quickly and it, there'll be memories that you'll have for, for, for a lifetime. Um, I've seen the smile on your face the last few days, so keep having that throughout this week, but the rest of your career. and and cricket will, will uh, continue to go well for you. But just enjoy it all. Uh, remember the, the other 10 will be out there with you for, for this week and hopefully come the, the end of the week, you give the three debutants uh, a song in their new baggy green caps and, and beating the Poms. So congratulations. Well done. Cheers.